it's time for a story that's massively split the nation, this. So Surrey police are now under investigation after an officer repeatedly rammed an escaped cow with his police vehicle on Friday night. So the 10-month-old calf had escaped from a breeding farm five miles from the scene of the incident in Staines-upon-Thames, swimming across the river to make her escape. This sparks a police chase that lasted for about two hours, apparently, culminated with the animal being repeatedly run over by police. They say due to fears that they could cause some kind of traffic incident. Well, the cow, who has apparently been named as Bo Lucy, is now recovering with her owners back at the farm, but was not offered any medical assistance at the scene and could reportedly still die of shock in the coming days. I mean, it, look, it's awful, this. It's, it's awful. Um, Shocking. Well, Kai Bennett was an eyewitness to this shocking incident. I'm very pleased to say that Kai joins me now. Kai, thank you for coming into the studio today. Could you tell us a bit about what you saw that night? Uh, yeah, basically, from the beginning, I was over at a friend's house and I left his at around 11, half 11, midnight, like I normally do. Um, walked over to mine, he doesn't live far. And I heard a commotion from a bunch of cars shouting. Obviously, I thought the worst. I thought it was a gang-related thing. So obviously, you know how London are these yeah. days. Not very safe, especially at the time I was out. And then they started running towards me, and obviously I feared for whatever. But then they ran past me, and obviously I shouted, what are you running from, when I heard cow. When I, then I turned around to see a black baby cow charging at me, and obviously I had to jump out of the way. At that point, took it upon myself to follow the cow to make sure it wasn't hit or hurt mm. by anything else and to get the people who were tormenting it and getting it to chase it to obviously go away. Yeah, and so then the police were called, were they? I mean, what, what happened in terms of what you saw in terms of the police action? So I was with the car for about 10 minutes, following it in and out of roads, on the phone to the police, guiding them where I was, letting them know the calf wasn't hurting anyone, causing damage to any property, just keep the situation as chill as I could and then we got to a corner of the road where the front gardens have quite high concrete walls and I thought, let me try and trap it in here because it won't get out. At this point, the police pulled up. I had stopped recording on my phone mm. to wave down the police truck and that's when I saw the police truck full speed hit the cow first, first and second time. And they actually did hit it more times than what has been doing the rounds on social media, haven't didn't they? Yeah, they hit it five times altogether. Three in front of my own eyes and then two up the road near to the park where I managed to trap it. And you just don't think there was any need for that? No, not at all. The animal, you clearly see in every video or circulating online that everyone was upset for the animal and no one was hurt. The animal didn't want to go near anyone, it just wanted to find home. And did you try and stop the police from doing this? I did, yes. I tried to stop the police multiple times. I was shouting, saying, I can deal with this animal, turn your lights off. Uh, that's when they were pushing me away and telling me I'm obstructing the scene and I could face arre being arrested and stuff like that. But obviously, my anger at that point, knowing it was a baby, having a baby myself, I couldn't, I couldn't sit back and watch. So what happened then? So you, you got involved a bit, did you? So after the calf had been hit three times, I don't know how it managed to get back up which it did, it got up, walked down the road towards my park where I was still being held so I couldn't see the calf. But that's so, where... Sorry, just to, just to zone in on that then, mate. So, so you'd had a word with the police. They, they had then tried to detain you, mm. had they? They so... had tried to keep me at the scene because they, deep down, they knew their plan of action was to put this calf down and they knew with me at the scene it wasn't going to happen. Right. So, so they, were, they were detaining you and then, and then what has happened then? They've gone after so, again? They kind of took their eye off me for a bit too long because then I slipped around and obviously made my way towards the park where I see the cow get up off the floor from being hit, obviously, the fourth and third time, which I didn't see properly, make its way into the park, and then the police obviously scurry to shut all of the gates around the park and asked me if I could shut the furthest one away, which I happily did. I said, yeah, but then mm. as I was on my way to the fence to shut it, I overheard that the gun units were coming to shoot it, so then I put myself in danger's way and jumped in the park. With so, the so you, so they tried to ram it with the car, as we all know, and you heard that they were basically actually planning on just shooting this cow yeah. dead. Yeah. And you thought that there was no need for that at all. You put yourself mm. in a situation where, what, were you kind of between them and the cow, so that if they'd have shot or... or yeah, I was, with the, I, was, I was within metres distance of the cow. So, so you were stuck. So, if the gun you basically were that. saying you, you want to shoot this cow, you go through me. You shoot me first. I mean, it's a remarkable story. I know that that 
not just animal rights lovers, but I think I think most people out there will be thinking that you're a bit of a hero for doing that. And just the final thing on, on this, as far as you're concerned, we know that there's a police investigation into this now. What do you want to see happen there, do you think? I want to see what would happen to any of us if we was to hit a cow of our car. I want the right prosecution to come out of this. That, that man, to me, tends... He, he enjoyed it, in my opinion, what he was doing. He showed not a single bit of remorse. It was like he showed psychopathic tendencies. Gosh. All right, well, look, it goes without saying that police officer in question will undergo a, a full investigation, probably a few others involved in that incident will as well, and they're not here to defend themselves. But, Kai, can I just say a massive thank you for, for coming on the show? Really great to have you on that. That's Kai Bennett there. I am just going to whiz us over a, a little bit now to uh, retired police officer Norman Brennan. Because, Norman, look, you're always a, a tremendous servant to this show and, and the channel as well. Um, do you think, in, with your with your police hat on, for want of a better phrase, that there was a justification for the way they behaved here? Yes, there was. And can I just put Kai right straight away? Uh, had I been the senior officer on duty at the time and Kai had done exactly the same as the police officer had done, probably with a view of saving life or damage uh, to other people, he would not have been prosecuted. I, I, I watched it yesterday. It went epileptic in uh, the social media spheres. This apparently, this incident apparently lasted about two and a half hours. Ramming the cow was not the primary concern. Saving the cow, corralling it, putting it in a corner where the farmer could come and collect it was their priority. It clearly got to a stage where the cow was distressed, lost and lonely, which is very distressing to see on social media. Um, and it got to a point really where I think the danger that the, pub, the police saw the public in reached a stage where they had to take some sort of drastic action. So it's never nice. It's always distressing to look at it, Patrick. But mm. can, I just leave, can I just tell you about Devil's Advocate? Yeah, yeah. Right. I know the area well. It's two miles up the road. 316 is a 50 mile an hour road. The M25 is around the corner, as is the M3. Mm. Just supposing that one or two ton car for a uh, cow run across the 316 late at night, which it was, it was dark, and a husband, wife, and a baby were driving along the 316, mm. and out of nowhere, it pulled in front of them. They either hit it or swerved to miss it and hit a tree. The man's wife mm. was killed. He was seriously injured. The baby was critically ill. What would the public say then? I bet you it would be, what did the police do prior to that mm. to save the life of that woman, that man and the injured baby? It's a very funny old world, uh, the public. It's always subjecture to what actually happens. Yeah, I, look, I, I get that. And, you know, if that situation had happened, then there's probably going to be people out there saying exactly what you've suggested, which is, oh, why didn't the police act sooner? I think it's the optics of the car being used, really, to ram it, I think is is the thing. Just just quickly on this, Norman, you don't think that police officer should face any kind of issue? I think they're on desk duties at the moment. Absolutely. I mean, you, you know, it's a very distressing video. I can completely agree. We're a country of animal lovers. But the long and the short is, if that police officer acted in a way that he believed he was saving or trying to save somebody else's life, they can take the action they do. And even the National right. Farmers Union, Patrick, and yeah. also a farmer in Dorkin, unlike your representative in Northern Ireland, said the police probably acted in the best possible way they could. I All think right. that tells you the answer. Well, we'll come, look, Norman, Norman, thank you very, very much. And it's great to have you on the show. Uh, it is Norman Brennan there, a retired police officer. Uh, I'll just say another thank you to, to Kai as well. And, um, and also, Kai, I do hope that you are actually all right, because that is a very, very traumatic thing that you've had to witness there. And, you know, so, so thank you very much for coming on and talking about it. I hope to chat to you again very soon. All right, it's Kai Bennett there, uh, who witnessed the whole thing and got involved. Right, look, the police officer involved uh, has now been removed from frontline duties. Surrey police have said this. I fully appreciate the distress our handling of this incident has caused. And will ensure that it is thoroughly and diligently investigated. In addition to an internal referral to our police standards department, we have also referred the matter to the Independent Office for Police Conduct for independent consideration. We've also briefed the Home Office on what action we are taking, and we are liaising with several animal charities as well. Meanwhile, as you were hearing there, the NFU, the National Farmers Union, has said, while the whole thing looks horrendous, and it is for everyone, they probably did the right thing at the time. The other option is to shoot the animal in that environment. Would you want 
to be using a rifle in a build-up area on a dark Friday night. I respect all of their views. I do have to say, and people might, you know, not like me for this, I, I am Team Kai in all of this. I, I, I must say, I, I am Team Kai in all of this. But